Hello Internet, I'm Dan. And I'm Chaz. And this is Wine is Serious Business, episode 269. As you can see, we're about to do it. Yeah. I've been super interested in these because it's it's a good package, right? Great. Okay, sure. we, we should talk about what we've got here. Yeah, yeah. These are the you can see it. Union Wine Company Underwood Wines in a Can. It's a new trend. I haven't seen anyone do wine in a can before this. Have you? Uh, not, not. I've seen people drink wine out of a can, but I haven't seen people put wine in oh, a can. Oh, yeah, good point. So, yeah. well, wine is uh, It's always sunny in Philadelphia reference there. Um, so, yeah, this company started doing uh, Pinot Gris, Pinot Noir, I think, first, and then just more recently started doing other uh, other wines, like the Rosé, I think, is something new for this year. Sure. So, there's a non-vintage. Yeah. Um, yeah. They run just, a bunch of ads making fun of guys like us. That's all right. They we've do. Got, we've got a sense of humor about that. Absolutely. Yeah. Hashtag uh, pinkies down. Yeah, we, we might be on the cusp of making fun of what they do, so, uh, you know. <laughs> It's true. It, so, it works out. Are we going to do the nose on these? Well, let's taste it out of the can first, because that's how it was made. Okay, yeah, let's yeah. just get into it. All right. All right. So, so Dan brought up a great point. We shouldn't do these in the glass. It's not, it's not how they're meant to be consumed. We're yeah. going to just drink them and tell you what we think. Yeah. So. Drink the wine out of the can. Tastes like Pinot Gris. Tastes like cheap Pinot Gris. Yeah. Um, a little less sweet than I was expecting it to be. Yeah. Um, you know, that's, that's, I'd say, almost, almost, I would venture on dry. It's got a lot yeah. of acid, right? Yeah. Back it all up. So it could have a small round of residual sugar and a bunch of acid backing it up. It kind of dries the mouth out of it. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of sugar. Yeah, a little bit, but it's not, I was expecting it to be, to be noticeably sweeter. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of fruit shows in way late. There's a distinct bitter flavor. Um, it starts on the late palate and persists through the finish that I find in a lot of Pinot Gris, um, but is honestly a huge part of why I'm not often on board with Pinot Gris. It's almost like sucking on like a, a lemon peel or something. Yeah. You know, that kind of bitterness that you get if you buy the peel or like, like from Zest or something. Um, how, much, how much are these? I want to say like $5, five, sure. five to seven dollars each, somewhere and, in the price range. You know, and, and so, right, so a bottle of wine is, is roughly two 12 ounce cans, right? Yeah, it's it a little, is, little bit more. exactly. Yeah. And, and I'd say that, that that tastes, that if you just handed me a random bottle of Oregon Pinot Gris that cost 10 to 12 bucks, that's what I expect it to taste like. Um, yeah, that's a good point. That, that's, what I, that's what I expected out of the experience that said, um, that brings it all the way to 82 points for me. I don't really mm. care for Oregon Pinot Noir or P Pinot Gris at that price point. Usually, um, you know, if that's all that was around and I was hanging out with some friends, I could drink another can. But but it's not something I would ever seek out. Right. I mean, it, it's not it's not great. Right. Yeah. Like it doesn't taste that bad though to me. Yeah. Yeah. Like well, it, I mean, it, sure. it, 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 it's like well, I shouldn't say that bad. Like it, it's it's a totally palatable wine. It yeah. does taste like or cheap Oregon Pinot Gris. It's it's uh, but. Yeah. So I, I, don't, I don't know what we're searching and for. And if that's the price, if that's the price point you shop at, it's not, and if you like most Oregon Pinot Gris that you have, I guess that'd be a reasonable alternative. But but if you're watching the show, you know it's probably what you expect. Right. Yeah. The worry is that these these wines make it onto the market that like makes it outside of, uh, of Oregon. Yeah. Right. And then people classify it as this is what you get from an Oregon wine. Like that's that's. You can do way better. You can do way better. Yeah. For now, at, at least for Pinot Gris, there are delicious Pinot Gris in the state. This is a passable one. So this is the rosé. 80, 80, 83 points, 84 points. I feel I, I like it a little more than Dan does. It's 83 points, but yeah. But yeah. This is the rosé. It doesn't say of anything, so it could be red and white blended together. It could be, you know, Syrah. Who, who knows? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Here we go. Crush it. We should... Wow. Fruity right on the start. Man, watermelons and strawberries kind of show up right away. Mm. A little candified, kind of in the direction of Jolly Ranchers, but... Uh, yeah. But nice for on contact. Yeah, Twizzlers red vines or something like totally. that. Big time Twizzlers on it. Yeah, it's uh, it's very candified, but um, strawberry, raspberry, a little bit of water, watermelon. It's kind of nice. They give you the descriptors on the back here. Oh yeah. There so you go. we know that it tastes like strawberry, watermelon. As much as they like to make fun of tasting notes, I guess they and peach. They, they see there must be some yes. reason for it. Mm -hmm. Got some peaches in there. Yeah, good acidity. Bit. Like, uh, you know, again, This one's forward. a lot less on the acidity than the last one. Yeah, and, and, and no bitterness. Um, again, I think I think a touch sweet in there, right? Yeah. Like, I'm getting a little bit of that, um, but, but kind of easy to drink. Right. Um, especially nice and cold like this. 
Yeah. Um, I'm kind of worried about this guy. Yeah. <laughs> and again, it's it's you know it's 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 not interesting, but when we're talking about being comparable to ten dollar bottles of rosé, yeah. this is actually on the okay side. Both of us, as you know, are a little bit more accepting of a touch of, of a little bit of RS than some people are. Yeah. It's definitely present. Um, but there's nothing that really turns me off about it, and and, and I think in, in the lower price rosé, I also often will get some bitterness, or the acidity will be out of balance, mm -hmm. or the fruit will even be a little green sometimes. That's a good point. This is nice and round, right? It's really easy to yeah. drink. Um, so, yeah, so, so 80, 85, I guess. Yeah. Um, that's more generous than I thought it was going to be to these, but it, but it, it you know, it works, and, and mm -hmm. if, if this is, if this, yeah. I can do with a touch more acidity. Sure. Like for me, I, why, like, I, is that the first time I've ever said that? <laughs> like, what? Like, you know, typically in the past, I've always been like, uh, acidity. Well, no, but, but, yeah. yeah. All right, this, so this could do with a touch more I'm acidity. With you. Otherwise, it's a really nice wine. Uh, from the grant, like, it's, it's not a complex or, nope. or, or interesting wine. This is like summer, backyard, just drinking. Yeah, I, I would like it more with less sugar, but, yeah. but, but boy, yeah. I, I can see it. I, I, I get it. We so. love our wine. We just don't drink it with our pinkies in the air. Yeah. Sorry, that caught me yeah. off guard. So, yeah, it's probably like an 80, 84 points for me. A little, I like it a little less. Yeah, I would like it more with less sugar, but yeah, yeah it's, all, it's, it's all right. It's all, right. all right, and so the big boy. This is the Pinot Noir. Yeah. And we do not have it chilled down at all. No. So you drink Pinot, right? So I, I would think so. I, I, I think we're... Giving a good enough chance by not going out of the big glass to begin with. Huh. So on, on, fir on first hit, it, it tastes like you know, I even, even a little typical. I, I like to think that somebody handed me the can. I guess or even Pinot Noir. Even so. Totally. Like, like, sort of ripe cherries, right? Yeah. Uh, obvious components that are in these in these wines normally. Almost a little bit of like. Uh, and earthy quality as yeah, the wine little, finishes. It's, it's surpri thing, yeah. it got surprisingly balanced acid. Yeah. No tannins whatsoever. Um, there's absolutely no grip in the tongue or the cheeks or anything like that. But as far as huh. drinking wine from a can, it's actually pretty good. And, pretty if, you're, good. If, and if you're talking about I'm in comparison to ten dollar bottles of Pinot Noir, right? This this really delivers. Um, I would agree. I, you, you, this is surprising. You know, th this is definitely in the, you know, in, in, this is a serious competitor at that price point. Mm -hmm. Again, not, not a lot of depth and complexity, but the fruit's there. There is some complexity, right? Yeah. It's, it, there is a little bit of that the fact, the fact it's a little bit of acidity, yeah. It's got you thinking a little bit. There's like, there is some earthiness. There's great acid. There's, yeah. It's, wow. I, I, I'm seriously surprised. I was expecting, I was expecting like a little more green flavors, maybe a little bit rougher tannins on it. Yeah. Um, there's, it's definitely going to be too light in tannins for some people. I'm definitely right. more forgiving on that. I don't demand a lot of structure in wines, but it definitely, you know. No, well, me either. If, yeah. if there's, if there's, it seems more other simple, components. that's thoroughly intense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, again, for most of you guys watching the show, I don't, I don't see that this is something that uh, you'd rush out and get. But on the other hand, if you had a party with a bunch of people who aren't wine collectors or whatever, and this is sitting around, I'd say, I'd say give it a shot. Absolutely. I think, you know, casual socializing, you could enjoy a can of this. It's weird to like sit around and drink wine out of a can. I also feel like 12 <laughs> ounces in this format would end up messing you up really fast. Yeah. Well, we've um, done that on a show once before. Well, consumed well, a lot of wine very quickly. Yeah, we have, <laughs> have done that. I will not link to that show. Uh, uh, but uh, those of you who know where yeah. how to find that stuff can find it. Um, Eight, 85 us? points. Yeah. Like, it's it's honestly a completely passable, decent Oregon Pinot Noir. I'll say that. Man, and we, you know, honestly, I think we're kind of looking in trouble at, at, for trouble with these. Maybe there's a touch of RS in there, too. Okay. Eh, yeah. I. Right? Yeah. That's... I, yeah, it's, it's like 84, 85 for me. I'm, I'm going to go with 84 just because it's it's simple, but at the, at the at the price point, it totally delivers. Yeah. Um, I think this one might be a little more expensive, like oh. seven. Okay, so, so we're yeah, talking it's like still well, well under twenty dollars mm -hmm. in comparison to, to the seven fifties, um, and and I, I think it's there. So yeah. uh, I think we both came into this expecting to hate at least one of them. It didn't really happen. Yeah, um, I'm I'm honestly impressed. Yeah, I, I you know, yeah, I, I don't see myself buying them, but if they were around at, at you know when I was socializing, I probably would grab. 
Right. Yeah. Um, and enjoy it. Uh, that said, I also want to do a shout out to these guys since, since it ended up turning out well. So they bought the Amity Estate Vineyard uh, a while ago. And, and a these big, guys did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, so like a big hope is that they got these old vines now that they're not going to tear them out for yeah. higher yielding stuff. Some good news is like that I've seen like new Amity Vineyards label that might be done by them. I'm not sure. Let us know if it is. But uh, yeah, personal request, them. please don't tear out those old vines. Um, we'd love to see them continue into production and, and maybe see what becomes of them Absolutely. as time goes by. Uh, yeah. So that's our show. You, yeah. Take S- it on the river. Super, super uh, yeah. surprised by these three. Yeah. What question today should we ask? Or actually, you got some. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some thanks to people. Yeah. Uh, Paul Cunningham and Chris from, from Winesite yep. have uh, been participating in some good feedback when I posted some tasting notes last week. Really appreciate that. Thank you guys. And Chris finally got around to drinking that bottle of Dupont. That yes. was so cool. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, well, you liked it. Yes, totally. Yeah. So thanks for writing that review up. Uh, and then we've got some new interactions on the page from uh, Genevieve Yazzi at City, uh, Jessica Deal down in Texas. Hello, and uh, Alicia Morse. Thanks for uh, yeah. thanks for clicking on the page. Appreciate Hopefully it. You yeah. Enjoy some of these videos. Um, probably next week we'll be back with a full lineup of Pinot Gris. Yeah, um, I've got, some, got some exciting wines to try. Yeah. I, I went to the went to Storyteller and, yeah. and tried, was there and tried all of his wines. Cool, cool, cool wines. Cool, exciting stuff. Yeah, so you'll be, you'll be, yeah. so we still we still got to come up with a question make, of the day. It didn't make any sense because there's no context. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, cool it's wines fun. for next week. Watch, we watch next week. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, question of the day. Um, what's the biggest wine surprise you've had lately? There you go. Like something that you were kind of going into expecting to not like it, and you did. Yeah. Because I, honestly, like I, I really didn't know what to expect with these. I was sort of like I'll say, and, and that I was Portland, expecting to hate one. That Portlandia lived down to our expectations. Um, I think in, in, in quite a few ways, this is. I'd, I'd rather drink this any day. Absolutely. Um, you should drink these more than the Portlandia wines, or you should seek these out more than the Portlandia wines any day. Of the so, day. or the Pinot Noir. Yeah. So that's something. Yeah. Uh, I guess that was a surprise. Yeah, let us know what your last surprise was. We'll see you next week.